Hi, I'm Kathy Knapp, and I'm a senior correspondent with Around the Valuation World. Today, I have Lee Fredrickson joining me from Hinge. Welcome, Lee. It's a pleasure to be here. Lee is presenting a session here at the conference on uh, secrets of high growth financial services firms. So Lee, how did you find out what the secrets are? Uh, great question. Uh, well, every year we do a study of over a thousand professional services firms. And we looked at the financial services, accounting and financial services ones, and we separated those that are growing the fastest from those that are not growing at all. And we looked at what's the difference? What makes one firm grow when another one kind of languishes? And that's really what this is about, is going through the differences in the strategies that they use and the kinds of tactics in the marketing. All of those were a part of the presentation. Okay. And what did you learn? Well, the interesting thing, there's several interesting things. Of course, I love this stuff, so all of it's interesting right. to me. But one of the interesting things is this strategy. That's where you get your best leverage, you know, because the, uh, when you think the, the broadest difference is, are you a specialist or you are a generalist? Most people are specialists, but only by a little bit. It's almost half and half. And those that are specialists grow almost twice as fast as those that are generalists. So if you want to grow faster, you don't do it by doing more and more and more. You do it by focus and specializing. That accelerates the growth. We also learned that some kinds of specialties work better than others. So for example, if you're specializing in a very niche service, like a lot of the people who are here are, right. that, is, that gives you about a 25% advantage. But if you even go the next step and you're specializing in a particular industry, that gives you an almost 90% advantage. So you can get a huge advantage in growth just by your strategy you use, whether you're specializing or generalizing. So specializing in a niche and specializing in an industry can Both really accelerate Both of those can really your accelerate your growth if you're really serious about it and you do it, you know, appropriately. Right. Uh, there's another thing, too, that people often uh, struggle with, and that's our differentiator. What makes us different than other mm -hmm. firms? And, you know, if you ask, 63% of people say what makes us different is we give superior service. And not now. You're different if 60% of them people say the same thing. Right. And you know, you see it on all the websites, great client service and so forth. Actually, the people who say they give client service, great client service, grow slower than those that focus on other kinds of differentiators. Interesting. Such as specialization, expertise, those kinds of things are what really drives your growth. So we found that by choosing the right kinds of strategies and the right kinds of approaches to set yourself apart and the right kinds of marketing techniques that really accelerate your growth and allows you to grow your firm faster. Okay. And are there certain marketing techniques that seem to also work better? There are indeed. And the, the issue here is that when you think of expertise, someone's expertise, you don't know it by looking at them, or you can't necessarily tell it even by looking at their credentials, although if they have, they're certified and so forth. That helps a lot, but you can't necessarily tell. So how do you make that expertise visible? How do you make it? And the way you do it is you make it tangible through things like webinars, speaking events, uh, publications. Those are all things participating in your organizations and associations you're involved in. Those help people understand the level of expertise that you have and make your expertise more visible. Exactly what I was thinking as yeah. you were walking through those is it's the things that make you visible Right, the things that make you visible. But you know, the interesting thing, Kathy, is it's not just what makes you visible. Because if it is, all we need to do is get a blimp and, and put your name on it and run it around Chicago right. and everyone would know who you are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not just that you're visible, it's that you're visible for your expertise. That's the really thing. Right. And actually, a lot of firms, the biggest single expenditure that most firms spend on is advertising and sponsorships. But most sponsorships don't really have much effect because they don't convey your expertise. So, you know, it's what, uh, there's that old quote about, you know, I know I'm wasting half of my marketing, but I don't know which half. Well, now you do. 
now you can tell which kinds of things work and which don't. Right. Oh, great. Thank you. Would you have any other final learnings to share with us? Well, I would say the, the main thing is to understand that marketing has changed, certainly since I got involved. It used to be thought of as kind of an art, and you ask people, is it an art or a science? Well, yeah, there's some art involved in it, but there's also more and more science about understanding humans and how we learn things, how we form impressions, how we make decisions. There's been a lot of work in that area, and you apply that to growing your firm, and it provides a real shortcut for you. So these are the things that I hope people take away from the session. Great. Well, thank you. It's been great talking with you today, Lee. It's been my Lee. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much for your time. Thank you.